You know what, it's difficult to talk about something as controversial as the RTX 3080 Ti because I never know how people will react to these videos because either they're going to say, hey, that was a pretty cool vid bro, or I'm going to wake up the next day with a giant mob of people outside my house demanding my head on a pike. However, today's RTX 3080 Ti is so average that I don't think anyone will be able to gather the sufficient energy to even get mad about anything I say. So technically I could say whatever I want in this video. The card we're dissecting today is the EVGA RTX 3080Ti FTW3 Ultra. What is it with all these companies having such hard to remember names for the graphics cards? I really don't understand this trend. And this is the flagship RTX 3080Ti in EVGA's lineup, meaning that performance wise it will pretty much match the other flagship RTX 3080Ti's which we talked about before, like say the ASUS ROG Strix card or the Gigabyte Aero extreme card. However, if you're also looking for something that isn't as big and heavy that it could double as a bludgeoning weapon, like the cards from Gigabyte and Asus, so you'll be happy to hear that this card in both length and width is way smaller than both the ROG Strix and Aeros Extreme. Now that could have also mean that it may get worse thermals than those other cards, seeing how this simply while way less heatsink over there trying to dissipate all the heat. However, it does still use the same three fan setup as pretty much all the other cards in the 3080 Ti family, so any difference in thermals and versus performance probably won't be too big. However, if you watched any of my previous videos on graphics cards and have a basic grasp on pattern recognition, then you may know what I'm about to say next. And I'll give you another hint, it's something that begins with V. That's right, it's Volvo, because now I want to talk about the brand new model just kidding, I meant video output, because as is tradition around here, if a card comes in through my door with just one HDMI port, then it deserves a proper spanking online, and this EVGA FTW3 Ultra sadly commits the very same sin. This card ships with just three display ports and a mere one HDMI port because it sacrifices most of the space on the top PCIe slot to serve as an exhaust. Now that in itself isn't too bad if it wasn't at the cost of us having way less video outputs. I mean other cards like the ROG Strix and Aeros Extreme can manage it, though probably one of the reasons why the Aeros Extreme can do it is because it's a quad slot card, but that's just beside the point. So if you're one of those people who have two or more HDMI displays that they need hooking up to a graphics card, I mean what do you think this is? 2021? Yeah no, we're still living like five years behind here and graphics cards still only have one HDMI port. And for the lovers of RGB out there, this card may also be a bit of a disappointment. It has one strip of RGB at the front, which is pretty small, but also has a light of RGB EVGA logo on the back. So that's pretty cool. However, it's only controllable with EVGA's own RGB software, and odds are you probably don't own too many other EVGA parts. Maybe there's a few people out there with EVGA motherboards, but that's about it. So if you're going for that all synced up RGB look, well, Unless you have a all EVGA build for some reason, then you may be struggling with that. And that's about all I have to say about this card. Like I said, it's about as average as it gets. There's definitely quite a few interesting things about it. For example, it isn't this giant brick that sits in your PC. Instead, it's just a very big brick that sits in your PC. But once again, people who want more than just one HDMI port will be disappointed. And it doesn't even have any interesting gimmicks, like for example, the screen on the Aeros Extreme. But I know many of you will buy it anyway if you just see it at MSRP because, well, the shortages are still going on and they're still as bad. And even though apparently GPU prices are supposed to be going down because of the whole crypto crash, well, let's be honest, we'll still be stuck in this hell together for a very long time. And for the current condition, well, at least then you could say that this card is one of the best things to ever happen to humanity. But outside the context of the current market, well, there's definitely way better alternatives you should buy instead. So let me know what you think of this card and if you're going to be buying it yourself. And also, hey, if you're still here, if you want to see more awesome videos on this channel and if you want to make sure that I can provide you and others with more awesome content, then definitely check out my Patreon down in the video description below because even $1 a month goes a long way in making sure that I can provide you and others with more fun videos for you to watch. It's really a great way to ensure that you get more awesome stuff in the future. I'd also love to thank my existing patrons Gavin Burns, Ryan, OKB, Max Sumner, Blake Drake, and also Shane Allcroft. Thank you guys so so much, your support truly goes a long way. Now there's also going to be our Amazon Associates links, if you want to get yourself a PSU that will be able to feed such a super power hungry card 
Plus also down there's our Discord server if you want to talk to me or others at Discord or whatever else really. Plus down there's also all our social media links as well. But anyway, that's what it's so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't remember to subscribe, like whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone. Good. Bye.